Hello Model Steam fans. Well, um, here we are today. I've uh, rigged up a little setup. Uh, a few people have been asking me what a small boiler and what a small engine will perform like. Um, so what I've done, I've rigged up, albeit very basically, a 3 inch fire tube boiler. That's at the moment gas fired. It, it will coal fire, but it's, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit sluggish. It's a bit difficult. So it's it's running on gas at the moment, and the pressure gauge is, I guess, somewhere around forty pound now. Uh, the little engine is a Muncaster table engine built from bar stock. It's about. Um, about an inch bone, maybe just slightly over an inch stroke. Uh, it's, it's a little double acting engine and it, it, it works quite well. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll just turn that gas down because the pressure is creeping up a bit nastily. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll give this little engine a run and see what happens. As you can see the engine now is running reasonably fast, probably a couple of hundred RPM, something like that, with the boiler pressure at oh, about 50 pound pressure, um, but the, the valve is virtually shut, it's, it's, there's only a bit of steam sneaking out of it. Um, what I'll do in a minute is try and uh, get the pressure creep up a little bit higher then fire the engine for a short blast on on quite high pressure and you can see how fast the, the little engine will run. Um, the water gauge at the moment is, let's have a look, it's not near the top, it's, it's just sort of, you can just about see the air bubble near the top. Um, we'll see how it, uh, see how that uh, water is in about five minutes or so when I've made this video. Right, so the little engine now is keeping up the same sort of speed, it's running quite nicely. Pressure is still 50, 60 pounds thereabouts. Let's uh, I'll turn the gas up and we'll uh, we'll see see what happens. Try and uh, try and keep an eye on the pressure gauge. Right, I've turned the gas up now. You can possibly hear the engine is picking up a little bit of speed, and you, you can, might be able to see that the pressure gauge is climbing. So let's uh, let's open her up and see what she does. I don't know how many RPM that is, but as you can see, it's, it's quite a lot. Like it's, it's certainly fair asking along. At the, so the, the pressure gauge now is well, it's, it's dropping now. Like I guess it's obviously it's down to about 30. Um, what I'll do, I'll turn the valve down so the, the engine slows down a bit, and you can see how it increases uh, pressure shortly.
if you notice now on that very short blast of only a couple of minutes the water gauge is virtually at the bottom now it's it's quite thirsty at um, high speed the, the pressure is now climbing it's mm -hmm. probably about 40 pounds it'll be at 60 in a few seconds so we'll back we we'll back up the pressure but it's it's drunk a lot of water in doing that um, let's let's top it up with water now and you should be able to hear that the engine slows down a little bit with the cold water in the boiler and the pressure should drop but you, you might see the, the water gauge climb let's have a look So the water gauge is now back to the top. I'll, I'll um, operate the blower down so you can see. But as you can see, the pressure is now something like 30 pounds, and the engine has slowed down, but it, it will pick up very shortly now that no extra water has been put in. Obviously, in a real situation, the, the idea would be to just um, trickle fresh water into the boiler to keep things constant. But I'm trying to demonstrate um, what happens when you, you let it run down and then fill it up. You can probably see now that the boiler gauge is getting back towards 60, and the engine is again picking up. Still steadily picking up speed as you can hear. So as you can see on, on gas, this boiler is quite capable of um, increasing pressure up to 60, maybe even more than 60 pounds, running a, a one-inch bore engine with just over a one-inch stroke at uh, reasonably high speed, probably. 300 rpm I would have thought and it can still happily maintain that uh, with, with enough water trickling in gently and sufficient gas it, it, I'm sure it would maintain this all day and the, the, the engine is relatively powerful you, you'd be surprised that, particularly if you've got about 60 or 70 pound pressure in it it's, you know, it can give a nasty kick. And now I've got some idiot going past with um, the JCB, but uh, anyway. Now we're getting back towards our 60-70 pound pressure. 